A Little Golden Book. The SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run presents Welcome to Camp Coral by David Lumen, based on the screenplay by Tim Hill, illustrated by Heather Martinez. Are you ready? Here we go. SpongeBob was super excited. His parents were dropping him off at Camp Coral, the greatest summer camp in the seven seas. He was going to have so much fun. If you're lucky, son, said his dad, you'll come home with two of, wait, with two of life's greatest gifts, friends and memories. Just no, SpongeBob heard someone sobbing. He found a camper named Patrick crying because he was homesick. Maybe all you need is a friend, SpongeBob suggested. I don't have any friends, Patrick wailed. Well, you've got one now, SpongeBob said cheerfully. Really? Patrick said, sniffling. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, SpongeBob explained. I'll be your friend. The new friends had all kinds of fun to together. And Patrick forgot about being homesick. How wonderful. <laughs> While SpongeBob and Patrick were jellyfishing, a squirrel named Sandy floated down to the ocean bottom. Woohoo! She whooped. Hey, y'all critters of the sea, look out below! SpongeBob introduced himself and Patrick. Sandy said she was from Texas and she liked to observe things like underwater life and rep like underwater life and report back to her sixth grade classmates. You could be a scientist someday, SpongeBob told her. Sandy thought that was a great idea. <coughs> that night, there was a talent show. A counselor named Mrs. Puff said that the, said the campers would vote on the best performer. Whoever got the most votes would win the Campy Award. <laughs> Backstage, SpongeBob and Patrick were getting ready to perform their act. A camper named Squidward came in and introduced himself. Squidward was sure his clarinet playing would win him the Campy Award. Well, let's see. <laughs> Mrs. Puff introduced Squidward. He walked on stage and started playing his and started playing. He made strange squeaking noises with his clarinet. <coughs> Everyone was confused by the weird music. Some campers were even scared. Only SpongeBob and Patrick clapped and cheered. Yay, Squidward! they said. Thank you, thank you, said Squidward, bowing. Vote for me. SpongeBob and Patrick were up next. They sang a goofy song called Aka Waka Maki Mia. It was about a puffer fish who wanted to be really big. Patrick inflated SpongeBob until he was huge. Then SpongeBob shot around the, ro the room like a balloon losing air. He landed in another camper's mouth. The camper spit SpongeBob out. Ta-da! SpongeBob said, striking a pose. Squidward laughed. <laughs> Terrible. The Campy Award is mine for sure. But 
To Squidward's dismay, SpongeBob and Patrick won the Campy Award. Everyone clapped excitedly. Squidward ran off crying. <laughs> Poor guy. SpongeBob and Patrick looked at each other, worried about their new friend. They found Squidward in his hut. Guess what, Squidward? said SpongeBob. There was a big mistake. You won the Campy Award. I did? Squidward asked, thrilled. Yup, Patrick said, handing him the award. As Squidward hugged his prize, SpongeBob winked at Patrick and gave him a thumbs up. Wait, who gave him a thumbs up? The next day, Mr. Krabs made delicious Krabby Patties following his secret formula. You should open your own restaurant someday, SpongeBob told Mr. Krabs. You could make a lot of money. Money? said Mr. Krabs. He liked SpongeBob's idea. Of course he did. As SpongeBob walked away with his Krabby Patties, Plankton tried to sell him food from his chum mobile. The tiny chef complained that everyone preferred the Krabby Patties. Why don't you ask Mr. Krabs for his secret formula? SpongeBob suggested. Good idea, said Plankton. I will. Plankton rushed to talk to Mr. Krabs. Splat! Thinking Plankton was a bug, Mr. Krabs swatted him with a frying pan. Jerk! Plankton growled. My Plankton growled. If it takes the rest of my life, I'll get you back for this! SpongeBob found a nice spot by the lake to eat his Krabby Patties. Just as he started to take a bite, he heard a meow. He looked down and saw a little snail staring, at him, staring up at him. Handing the snail a piece of food, SpongeBob asked, What's your name? Meow. Gary, huh? Said Sp SpongeBob said. Well, hi, Gary. Do you want to be friends? SpongeBob made lots of wonderful new friends and memories at Camp Coral. He thought it was the greatest camp ever. The end. What do you like to do at summer camp? Let me know in the comments below. See you later. Bye.